Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for March 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you also for your patience with me and getting these readings out for the month of March. The energies have been pretty heavy lately and pretty rough, so uh, many of us have gotten behind. But nonetheless, here we are. So this is going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. All of the information for the readings that I offer is in the description box below. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can do that at divine underscore conversations. And you can also find me on Facebook as at divine conversations 2711. Also, um, if you guys can hear a bunch of noise in the background, that's just my neighbors having fun on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing things a little bit differently this month, um, other than me recording this so that you can see my face and we can have a conversation while we're doing this reading. I'm going to be starting the reading by pulling an oracle card for your month, okay? So we're going to start with the unicorn oracle uh, to get a general theme for the month of March for you. And then I'm going to be finishing off the rest of your reading with the freestyle spread with the golden universal tarot that I normally use. Yeah? Okay. So without further ado... Let's just get going. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for March 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's see what we've got for you. So for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, let's see what the theme of your month is. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more shuffle. All right, and let's see what we've got for you guys. Capricorn, my Capricorns, what's going on for you this month? March 2019, Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I feel like business is very much, ooh, okay. Well, look at that, Capricorn, you've got two cards. But I was gonna say, I feel like business is very much a focus for you right now. Um, yeah, but see, interesting. You guys got two cards, and you're so far you're the only group that has gotten it. So you have, the first one is goddess. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. And then you also have courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. So whatever it is, um, and it's interesting because as what I, what I was feeling from your energy was um, sort of like the the CEO or the executive type of energy, and that's why I was feeling like it was um, business in some way. And it definitely could be business. Okay, maybe some of you are working on starting your own business, um, starting a new project, going into work for yourselves for some reason. Maybe even um, it could even be. Uh, starting a new position in your job like maybe you've gotten a promotion or something like that or maybe you're just starting a new job with a new company altogether um, but this is definitely an energy of being in control or in greater control and um, you might be having a little bit of trouble with that um, with having the courage to believe in yourself to, to believe that you really can whoops, do this job. Well, I guess we're ready. Okay, so um, let's get into the tarot here and see what we've got for you. Boop. All right, Capricorn. Overall energy. You've got the moon. Okay, so there, yeah, there's definitely some fear here. Um, but I feel like you do, maybe you feel like you're um, going into a situation blindly, like you're not fully prepared for um, the situation here. But I will say that I do feel like that is an illusion. With the moon here, it can talk about illusion, not being able to see clearly. And you may not, you may not think that you are prepared enough for the situation, um, 
And in that sense, you would need to definitely believe in yourself and work on this inner, this inner belief and work on your own courage. But I feel like either you don't know enough to really say as whether or not you are fully prepared. Um, it could be a situation in which you're just not as prepared as you would normally like to be or you feel you should be. So there's some of that uh, executive CEO type energy coming forward in you. Um, but ultimately, I really feel like this is all just an illusion in your lack of preparedness or your perceived lack of preparedness because uh, the universe would not give this to you. And I just actually, I just said this to Sagittarius. The universe would not give this energy or give you this position or this opportunity if you were not ready for it, okay? In some way. Yeah, look at here. You have your own energy, Capricorn. The devil, okay? All right. You also have the emperor. <laughs> Wow, three major arcana here. Uh, you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with another Capricorn, or that could just be you. You could also be dealing with an Aries, or any of these three energies could be within your chart. And then finally, you have the Queen of Cups, uh, Cancerian energy, or another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. Doesn't have to be water. And actually, it doesn't even really have to be any of these signs, okay? This is more about the energy here that they represent, the symbolism behind them. The emperor being the master of his or her own domain, okay? Being prepared, ready to go, ready to take some action, having the courage to move forward into the situation knowing that they need to, even though they may not see the full picture, they may not be able to see the full picture, they may not have all the information, but needing to take some action anyway, okay? Um, absolutely having the courage to move forward. And it's really this devil energy that is working on keeping you down, helping you to believe that you're not really ready for it, but you are. In any, whatever this situation is for you, I do feel like you are ready for this. And it's definitely a, a situation where you probably just have to learn, like learning on the job, you know what I mean? Like you have enough of an understanding to, to start, excuse me guys, I gotta drink some water. But you have enough of an understanding to get started. Okay, so now it's just about moving forward with a compassionate and open energy in order to learn how to effectively really do the work. Or how to tackle this challenge, this business, this responsibility effectively. Okay, learning on the job is like the biggest and that right that that really might be a problem for you. Maybe you're not you're the, maybe you're the type of person that doesn't really like to learn on the job. You want to have the skills prepared and ready to go so that once you hit once you start, you don't have to worry about making mistakes or blah blah blah, but sometimes you just can't do that. Sometimes it's not supposed to work that way, okay? Okay. So uh, we're going to split this up. We have two separate lines here. It's going to be the first set of the, of the first half of the reading, the second half of the reading. You can look at it as the first, the, the beginning of your month, or you, and the second of the month, or you can just look at it as the two parts of the reading. Whatever resonates best for you. Okay. So, excuse me. In the first half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies, you have death, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. There is a transformation happening here, and this is moving you into a new phase in your life, and you may be very well aware of this. The thing about it also may be that you know that you're going through a transition, a transformation, but with this moon energy, you have no idea what's coming on the other end of this transformation. Spirit just said, that is a good thing, Capricorn, okay? Regardless of whether you actually believe so or not, ultimately, it's what's best for you. Um, it's what the universe has designed. It's what you have chosen, what you have designed for your own self. This is a challenge. It, it's actually, it's, I, I feel like for many of you, this is testing your faith, okay? In yourself and in the universe. Death is coupled with, now, first of all, I do want to point out that you have all major arcana so far. All right, Capricorn, the moon, the devil, the emperor, and death. Okay, and a lot of this transformation I feel like that's happening for you guys is trans is leaving the past, maybe some sort of codependency behind, 
Um, and that doesn't have to be just a relationship, like a codependent relationship, whether it be like romantic business, um, family, friendships or whatnot. Codependency could really be, uh, you could have been codependent on the structure, okay? And now the universe is helping you to learn more, helping you to be more solid within yourself, um, more sure of yourself, helping you to develop more courage by shaking things up for you and making it so that, yes, you're still in control here of your life, but you don't have all the information going forward. You have to learn on the job. That is the phrase that's coming, and it doesn't have to be business. It doesn't have to be business. It can be a relationship. Maybe you're starting a new relationship with someone, and um, you know, you're gonna have to learn about the situation or about each other as you move forward. Um, if like you're the type of person that likes to get to know someone first and then decide whether you want to take the situation even further. This could be a situation in which you know you guys feel the connection between the two of you but you don't really know too much about each other and you're just gonna have to learn as you interact with each other and have this connection and have these deep feelings for each other. It's that, it, it, take it as it resonates. You know, everybody's situation is different, but that's just, overall, that's what it feels like. The universe is teaching you to really take control of your situation, of your life with the emperor here, the energies of the emperor, and still take action, even though you might be shooting in the dark with the moon. And I understand how that sounds. It doesn't, it's not ideal. Um, but you can't always have all the illumination before you move forward. And I really feel like that's what the universe is trying to help you learn here, okay? And what this transformation represents for you. Uh, death is coupled with temperance. Yep. First and foremost, you need to be patient with yourself. All right, Capricorn? Second of all, um, this is definitely an energy of coming into a new state of being. Um, definitely so, a little bit of an ascension energy here. Growing into the unknown is what Spirit just said. Uh, growing into feeling safe and secure within the unknown. Losing, uh, working on removing your, or removing the fear of the unknown from you, okay? That's from your psyche, from your, your mind. All major arcana, guys. You have five major arcana so far. This is really really big <laughs> okay this is really big second set of and well also and the fact that it is so big it could be why you may have ha may have this sort of fearful energy why you're needing to have more courage and, and faith in yourself okay but absolutely patience patience is needed here second set of surrounding energies for the first half of your reading you have wow more major arcana the fool literally capricorn all major arcana here so far. The moon, the devil, the emperor, death, temperance, and now the fool. So here you go. But this is, uh, this is literally what we're talking about here. Stepping out into the unknown. You see how, how this fool is about to jump off a cliff? Well, that really might be how you feel right now, and that is not something you like, Capricorn. I get it. I get it. Shooting by blindly in the dark, it feels... As far as your energy goes, it feels irresponsible. It's something that you would never advise someone else to do. This is probably something you have never done in your life before, something you have never even thought about allowing yourself to do in, in, in the past for a good reason, not to say you're wrong there, but now the time, now is the time to step it up, to level up, to get to the point where you're like, all right, I know what I know. I've been through a lot. I've overcome a lot, and now I'm, the universe is helping me build my courage in myself and to understand the abundant, maybe goddess energy, uh, honor the, honoring the divine feminine within you, sure, but this goes more, this is, I really feel like this goes deeper than just the, fe the divine feminine within you, because as you have the emperor here, that does represent the divine masculine often. Um, but this is about the god and or, or the goddess and or god energy within you the power to overcome anything even though you may not have all the information okay this is a challenge and it's a challenge you can't overcome the fool is coupled with the wheel of fortune how much like are we about to pull all major arcana for your reading right now this is really kind of awesome um but the Wheel of Fortune is great, major, major change, okay? Major cycles 
Um, and also I'm, I'm hearing major abundance coming forward towards you. And that abundance comes in not when you succeed, but when you take on the challenge and move forward and take that leap of faith. It does feel like a little bit of a gamble, a gamble um, as far from like the perspective of your energy Capricorn, even though you are the cardinal energy within the earth signs, this still feels very much out of your element, okay? But it does kind of feel like from the scope of your own, your personal energy, it does feel like a gamble, like you're playing roulette. Um, but ultimately, this is not a situation in which you're playing roulette just for the hell of it um, or like for, for some sort of like gambling addiction or that kind of energy. This is just learning. Sorry, I have a hair in my my mouth learning to work with the universe okay because the universe is chaotic there's a lot that's unknown um you don't you're not always going to have all the answers or you're not going to have all the information right off the bat and you have to learn to deal with that you have to learn to be okay with it and just move forward with what it is you do know and also how what you believe about yourself um, in order to succeed or at least to, in order to start to take on the challenge and um, This is absolutely changing how you view yourself as well and what it is you are you know that you are capable of or you, what you believe that you are capable of okay your challenge in the first half of the reading you have More major arcana the Sun believing that you will be successful because it's all about the belief. It's not just about the hard facts, Capricorn. It's also about the belief and the faith. Okay. Wow. The sun is coupled with, okay, here we go. The Knight of Swords, all right? Um, the challenge is to charge into, the ba into battle, absolutely. To charge into battle and to just, just get going with belief in yourself, with courage, that you will be able to be successful. And you don't have to just start, tackle the thing and be successful on the first round. That really, holding yourself to that standard is quite unrealistic. It really, really is, okay? The closing message or potential outcome here for the first half of your reading, you have the Five of Pentacles, all right. Um, feeling lack, feeling less than, uh, maybe feeling destitute or left out in the cold, rejected in some way. But I think this is what you're fearing here. Five of Pentacles is coupled with, that's, yep, exactly. The Queen of Swords. Don't even bother with that. It's time to, for you to leave this energy behind, to the, leaving the energy behind of not being well prepared, of being afraid of failure or of thinking that you're not going to be able to support yourself maybe, or you're going to, to fail miserably, miserably and like lose everything. Don't even entertain that, says the Queen of Swords energy. Don't even entertain that because you're only setting yourself up to manifest that. So if that's not what you want, don't even allow it into your thought process, okay? Okay. Moving into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you have the Eight of Cups. Leaving the past behind you, okay? Leaving whatever it is that held you down in the past. For some of you, I do feel like you're making a really a big, big change in your life. And this absolutely could be career um, in, in what this is speaking to here for you. Um, maybe you had a job or a career path that you pursued for a while, but it's just not fulfilling you any longer. It could also be a relationship. Maybe you were in a long-standing relationship and um, that's not fulfilling you any longer. So you're moving on to find what is going to be fulfilling for you. Maybe even just like starting over, starting from scratch and rebuilding your life from there. Obviously with the energies or the uh, what, what you've learned in the past, you know, helping to guide you or fuel you. For some of you, you are leaving what you have already built and moving on to find that last bit that will help complete it to, to return to what you've built and then create basically the 10 of cups. So for some of you, you're walking away from these eight neatly cut, stacked cups to find that last two. Maybe that's a relationship. 
to help you complete your 10. You have the career unlock, you have the physical representation manifestation unlock, but now you wanna find the love to complement that. Beautiful. That absolutely could be what you are shooting in the dark towards because it could be a situation in which you are very much well-grounded uh, uh, um, uh, physically, uh, career-wise, financially, but you never really were able to, to master the love aspect of your life. And that is maybe the change in direction that you're looking towards. Okay, well, that's beautiful, and you absolutely can do it. You can. The Eight of Cups is coupled with... Hey, look at that, the counterpart, the King of Swords. So I really do feel like some of you, you stepped into your, um, your executive energy, right? Because I do, I do feel like Capricorn is like the executive or the CEO of the, um, of the Zodiac. Uh, but you stepped into your executive uh, position, you stepped into your emperor position of being the master of your domain, and you said to yourself, okay, What's working and what isn't? What do I feel like I'm missing? What actually is missing from my life? And how do I go about getting it? And for some of you, you took the objective position here and said, I need to walk away from X, Y, and Z if I'm going to have A, B, and C, okay? Good on you. Because ultimately, if it's not fulfilling you, then it's time to go. It's time to cut that loose, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, you have the Knight of Wands. So some of you are moving very, very passionately forward and that's beautiful. Others of you have someone that's passionate that's coming in towards you. Um, it could be a Sagittarius or another fire sign, Aries or Leo. Um, now for some of you, you need to, I think you're working on building the finding what you're passionate about again or building up that passionate energy for you to move forward with it, what it is you're looking to whatever is this change that's coming in for you but um i do feel like for the most part a lot of you already have this energy which feels kind of confusing right because you have this passionate energy to move forward in this new direction and yet the conservative side of you i guess we'll call it is what's keeping you from really diving in because you feel like you don't have all the information. Which may be true, which also may be an illusion. Maybe you know more about the situation that you're moving into than you're allowing yourself to believe. And it's a situation in which you won't really understand how much you really knew about the situation until you got into it, right? Okay, the Knight of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Wands. Uh, Aries energy specifically, you have two representations of Aries between the Emperor and the Queen of Wands here. Um, you also have Gemini energy with the Knight of Swords. Um, any sort of fixed energy here, Taurus, Leo, uh, Taurus, Leo Scorpio, Aquarius but in, the, in the Wheel of Fortune, more Aquarius energy with the King of Swords and Libran energy with the Queen of Swords, okay? If that resonates with you, go ahead. It doesn't have to. It really doesn't, it doesn't even matter. Um, but the Queen of Wands energy is very confident, very sure of herself, but she's charismatic. She is um, social. She could be considered a social butterfly. To me, the Queen of Wands energy absolutely represents the law of attraction in uh, physical form because she's very magnetic and she just she doesn't really have to do much. She just aligns with something and allows it to come with come towards her. That is your advice here. You have all of this energy towards moving forward. Um, now is the time to align with what it is you want to move forward. Let go of any sort of fear of failure, any sort of worry about not necessarily having all the information. It's about aligning with it and allowing the, cir the circumstances to be attracted towards you, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading, you got the Ten of Cups. Well, well, well. So it really does look like some of you are off to um, leaving the eight neatly stacked cups behind to find that two in order to complete your ten. 
okay greater fulfillment is here is is the challenge here and that's really ultimately why you're moving in this new direction you're taking this leap of faith you're going through this transformation okay ten of cups is coupled with the ace of pentacles that new beginning but it's a new beginning that is more aligned with what it is you truly desire all right it's beautiful but you just have to get started, Capricorn. You just have to get started. The closing message or potential outcome here for you in the second half of your reading, you have the High Priestess. So this is higher learning, okay? This is listening to your intuition. This is uh, getting downloads from the universe. But also, what this really feels like is the universe is sitting back and not giving you a lot of the answers that you think you need for a reason. Uh, what I'm seeing here in the High Priestess is the universe sitting back and saying, okay, let's see how he or she handles this one. I'm going to give you the bare minimum, maybe not even the bare minimum. And we're going to see how you surmount it. And that comes through believing in yourself, in your goddess energy, or maybe even your God energy and your courage in your, in your own self. Okay. The high priestess is coupled with, Whoa. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. But the counterparts, the high priest, the high priestess and the Hierophant. It's so crazy because a lot of these readings that I have been doing lately have been the counterparts. If it's not these two, the high priestess and the Hierophant, it is um, like the king and the queen of cups, or in your situation also, it's the king and the queen of swords. But this is the balance, okay? This is the balance between masculine and feminine. But this is also, this is higher learning. This is definitely higher learning in your higher self, which is represented by the, the, the hierophant, in my opinion. And the, the, the high priestess is the collective in the, well, the feminine, but the collective in the universe, the higher wisdom of the universe. Um, but this is also grounding that energy into your physical reality. This is all about faith in more of yourself than just your physical, your physicality, your 3D representation, your 3D manifestation. This is about faith within the higher parts of yourself, grounding that energy in and creating this new reality for yourself, uh, taking this leap of faith and moving forward, letting go of the conformity and the, um, the codependency even, or the, um, I guess, yeah, codependency is the, the attachment. There we go. The attachment to physical world and hard, solid evidence, even though that is beneficial sometimes you have to work with your intuition more than just logic and reason and i really feel like that's what is being taught here for you all right capricorn so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope that was helpful for you again if you would like a look into your own personal reading please go ahead and email me at, uh, and all the information is in the description box below i hope you guys have a great march much much love to you and i look forward to connecting with you again soon for the month of april yeah Take care. Mwah! Bye.